Okay, so this is Ringwalk Media in association with Well Ice Therapy. And we're very pleased to be live in New York with uh, fighter Afasio Falcon. Afasio, really great to see you, first of all. Pleasure to see you, man. It's been a while. It's been a little while, but uh, we were watching you on Saturday night when you made your Madison Square Gardens debut. And that was a fantastic fight, mate. Well done. How was that for you? Thank you, brother. It was... Uh... It was a bit. It was a very hectic week, very hectic week. Um, we got the call on Monday. Wow! It was like a four day notice thing. Um, thank God you know I stay in the gym and I you know was staying in, in, in great in good shape. When they gave me the call, you know I felt like it was God's plan. For um, you always pray for things like that. You pray for opportunities. You pray for blessings. So once they gave me the opportunity, I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Me and my team spoke about it. My manager, go go um, no mind, go management, told me, listen, man, I think you can do it, and we took the opportunity. Well, listen, I know that you were disappointed in your previous um, possible outing because it fell through at the last minute. You'd trained for a long camp. Um, but you said to me, you know, uh, via message, you know, God has a plan for us. And uh, it certainly did. I and mean, Madison Square Gardens is no uh, no playground. It's a tough, tough venue. But what an iconic venue to box at. Absolutely. It was a great event. I, it was a, I Actually, it, was, it fell in my favour. Everything was in my favour, meaning... It was Puerto Rican Day weekend as well. I'm also Puerto Rican, so it was uh, Edgar Belanga was the um, the the main event. Yeah, and he's also a Puerto Rican, so it actually played in my in my part. You know, it was it was a fun. It was a very fun night. I got a lot it? of love that night. It was yeah. a great night, man. A lot. Of, I was going to say, there's a lot of love in Madison Square Gardens for you that night. We were watching it live, and uh, you know they gave you a good reception, even though you were sort of early on. You you really had a good reception, didn't you? Yeah, I had a great reception. I mean, great, great, actually. And it's good, great, to, man. It's good yes. to see because we've been watching your career for a little while, as you know. We've been out and seen you, and you know we've seen you develop. This is now the 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 crossroads, the door where you start to step up and get noticed by, in effect, the, the people that need to see you. Your management company have done a very very good job with you, and you know this is now your time. Surely you're going to have uh, some good opportunities going forwards now. Absolutely, um, we got some big plans coming up. I mean, I'm ready for that, whatever's coming. I've been sparring a lot of other great fighters in preparation for future fights. Um, and I'm just looking forward to whatever's coming. You know, like I said, everything's God's plan. I just feel like this is my time. I do I truly feel that, bro. Honestly. You, you really buy into that, don't you? You really trust your your faith and and what will happen will happen, don't you? Absolutely. Not only that, I put the work in. So I but 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 not only with my faith and with the work my with my work ethic. And you know, just my natural abilities and talents. I just know what me and my team possess. You know, so it's going to be a great year, man. And moving forward, man, I'm excited. It's good to see you smiling because I, I I saw you not smiling a little while ago when that fight fell through at the last minute. Um, and I know, you know yeah, things like that happens. Boxing, bro, it sucks. Yeah, it does, and it's part of boxing life, though. Unfortunately, for some yeah. boxers, it's a tough way. But you know, it's it's all down to how you deal with that. The times of adversity, you know, if you deal with those well, then the good times are going to be even better. Exactly. Exactly. Now, listen, I, I heard a little rumour that, um, you know, you were only on about 50% in that ring on uh, Saturday night. Um, now, yes. I've seen you box before. He was a very good opponent. But what was going on with that knockdown? The referee had a shocker, didn't he? Listen, if you watch that knockdown and you watch the slow motion and you can listen to the sound when he threw a was it a left hook or something yeah i rolled it and i hit him with a short body shot that knocked him off balance he was on the way down and on the way of me coming back up of the roll that's when he got caught oh excuse me hold on one second that's okay there we go i got a phone call tell him to go away you're talking trans transatlantic <laughs> jesus christ one Unless second it's your manager no man in which case answer the call and suck me off <laughs> oh there you go yeah can you see me hello i'm back no i can't see you oh you're coming back oh. yeah we go we've got you back so what happened was i rolled the shot i hit him with a short body shot and um it knocked him off balance and me on the way up from rolling his shot we clashed heads sadly oh. and they counted it as a as a head clash but i rewatched it multiple times and i was there it was a, i hit him with a body shot that knocked him off balance it was, yeah. it was a short shot and I was gonna, I was gonna make reference to that. You looked incredibly strong with your body punching. Is that something that you've been working on specifically? 
yes, I've been working on that. I've been working on a lot of, you know, my inside work, a lot of my defense, different types of combinations, letting my hands go a lot more. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I've been working on a lot of things. And Keeping some, my distance, ring generalship, you know, different things in the ring. Some of the commentators on the evening were saying – it was good to see you. It was good to see you out there on a good occasion, but they'd like to see you tested a little bit more. Is that how you feel? I would love to be tested even more. Whatever, whatever they come, but the problem is that, you know, in this world, see that guy, they use that guy for guys like Mark Castro, um, yeah. Floyd Diaz, that was, he tested them. That guy was a test for them. When you put him in front of a guy like me and I make him look that way, they say that I'm not being tested. So even if I was to step up and fight in even, uh, another test, um, and if I was to make it look easy, then they're going to say I need to be tested even more. So, I mean, every fight's a test for everyone. and um, But I am looking forward to the better opposition out there. Well, I think those opportunities are going to come uh, come quickly now. And uh, did you have Absolutely, a chat yeah. with, uh, with Eddie Hearn and Frank Smith afterwards? Yeah, Eddie Hearn loved the fight. Frank Smith I did not get to speak to. But um, Eddie Hearn I did. and He, he loved the fight. He gave me, you know, some pointers. And... Um, we got some. We got in good conversations with them. Well, that's nice to hear. You're keeping your cards very tight to your chest, as always. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that's the best place for them to be. Um, now, listen. I heard you had um, away from uh, professional boxing a little bit um, in your underdog gym. You've actually now become one of the owners of the gym. Is that right? Yes, me and my father are now the new owners of Underdog Boxing Fitness Club. Um, I'm actually here right now. Oh wow! Right now, so. Um, yeah, that's some, that's another thing that we did leading up to this fight. I, I did not know anything about this fight, and we we finally are the new owners of this gym. And then that fight came about, and I was like, you know what? What a great moment! Yeah, uh, celebrate us getting the gym, and now we're gonna celebrate us getting the win. So it was great, bro. It was all the latest part, man. So it's, everything's it's, falling into place. It's been a very very good week for you. Absolutely, man. This is a bless, bro. And I'm, uh, I'm grateful. And and of course, you know, your underdog boxing gyms in the Bronx, and people from the UK will go, "Oh my God, it's the Bronx!" It's actually one of the nicest places I've been in New York. It's a fabulous place. Um, and it is for, for, the, for the local people that um, kind of are in and around where you are, can they come in and use the gym? Absolutely. Listen, I'm more than welcome. Anybody from the UK, if you guys come out here, come visit us at it's East Tremont Avenue. It's 3448 East Street, Mount Avenue. That's the address of the gym. Ask for me or my father would always be here. Um, you're more than welcome. Open it's arms. Not often you get to go to your local gym and have um, a disown professional fighter in the gym with you. So that's got to be a, a, a positive in, in people's lives when they come to your gym. Yeah, you know, that fight actually not only did it help me in the boxing world, but it also helped me, you know, with the gym's recognition. So... The fact that I had the underdog, you know, I had the underdog boxing patch on my trunks, it, it, just, it played a huge part, man, a huge part. And, and the publicity and just the recognition of the gym, now we're getting more customers um, and people are coming, you know, not only that they know me, I also fight out of this gym and we're also the owners of the gym, so people are coming to support. Um, I feel like everything was like it came at the right moment, you know. And, and well deserved, I must add, because you're a really nice lad and uh, like I say, we've known you a little while now and... Uh, it's nice to see good people having good things happen. And, you know, boxing can be a cruel world sometimes. So it's really nice to report on positive things, which is good. And I'm glad it's happening to you, my friend. Absolutely, man. And I'm grateful and I'm thankful that, that you gave me another opportunity to come and speak to you, bro. I love being here, man. Yeah, You're yeah, an awesome guy. Good. When you came, to, you flew all the way from the UK over here to meet me that first time. And I can't wait till you come back so I can show you around some good places around here, bro. Well, I'm going to look forward to that. But it's, I know you're a bit short on time, but let's uh, just very quickly, I wanted to touch on the Belanga Quigley fight. Um, of course, uh, you're Team Belanga and I'm Team Quigley because Jason's a good friend of ours. Um, that fight didn't go the way that Belanga was hoping it would. Jason put a really good defense up, didn't he? Listen, man, Jay, that was an, an amazing fight. Um, everybody in there was going crazy, not only Quigley's fans and the UP fans from the UK, but also the Puerto Rican fans out there. It was an amazing event. Edgar Belanga did his thing. You know, he got the win. Quigley put it up in an amazing fight. He's an amazing competitor. And I don't know why people I see on social media, people are bashing Edgar, saying that Quigley wasn't the, the step up or the step up in competition that, that they were saying he was. But in all reality, Quigley put up a very great competitive fight, which is why it went all 12 rounds. Um, Quigley kept on getting up. He's a very strong, strong opponent. 
he had he had his, he landed some amazing shots as well that fight as well. Um, yeah. It was an amazing fight overall. He put up a great fight. Edgar just happened to be the better guy that night. Yeah, and listen, Jason's um, you know no fool. He's been around boxing a long time. Probably one of Ireland's most decorated amateurs as well. Um, and he said going into that fight, he says everything's in my favor. He said I've been underestimated here. And I actually think he was completely right because the result in the night wasn't the knockout that Belanga was saying he was going to do. It was a very tough, tough fight, wasn't it? Extremely tough fight. Um, and that just shows not only that how quick, how tough Quigley is and how, how great of a fighter that he is, it also shows how great of a fighter Edgar is in front of oppositions like um, Jason Quigley and that they need to give him more respect. You know, the both of them. So listen, what was it like walking out at Madison Square Gardens. You must have just couldn't believe it that when you did it. I, I'm going to be honest. Right after the fight, I told my father, listen, if, if this is a dream and I wake up, I'm going to be pissed off but I have to relive it. That's exactly what I told him right after the fight. Um, that's when he was giving each other a hug. I think I posted that picture on Instagram. He was hug we were hugging each other right after that fight. That's what we were telling each other in his ear. Um, it was an amazing feeling, bro, bro to, to be at home fighting in Madison Square Garden. You know, yeah. I didn't have as many people there as for me as I would wish because I didn't have enough time to sell tickets. I only had, what, like one day. Um, but it was an amazing, man. It was just amazing to fight there, to put on for my people. And I hope that the Zone and other promoters out there that throw shows in Madison Square Garden or in New York City understand that I'm a New York City fighter. I'm from New York City. I'm born and raised in the Bronx, but I'm also Puerto Rican. And if you guys want to sell tickets and anything in New York City, give me time and I guarantee you, that place, listen, I feel like eventually I'm going to be a main event in, 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 in Madison Square Garden, and I'm speaking on that now. God yeah. willing, one day. I, I believe um, that your manager, uh, Noman at GOAT uh, Management, I think he's got big plans for you, and rightly so. Um, you've been kept very quiet and under the radar for 10 fights, and now the cat is definitely out of the bag of Facio. So I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens, and I'm hoping that it's this year. We get to see you again on another big, big stage. Absolutely. God willing, I'm moving forward. We should be getting on some bigger, bigger cards, more bigger opportunities. Not only, you know, televised, and hopefully everybody can come and see and show some love. And I can get, you know, some more recognition and, you know, publicity. And what people don't realize is you're still a very, very young man. Were you 22, 23? 23 years old. Just turned 23. Just turned 23. When was your birthday? I missed it. December, December. No, you told me happy birthday, man. I, no, I didn't. I didn't. You're right. You're right. You did, you did. So you, you've definitely got time on your side and um, everything's going fantastically well for you. And I'm dead proud of you for enjoying and taking that fight. And uh, it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. So uh, congratulations on that, my friend. Thank you so much. And, you know, I just want to give a shout out to him, my opponent. He was a tough guy. He's also a great guy. We spoke after the fight and I told him, you know, God bless him. Um, you know, we both came. We're both here for one reason. And that's the fight put on a show and we the made the best man win and I won, but um that doesn't down him any of a, any lower of a man. He's um and I just told him, God bless him, I hope he gets home safe and that, you know, he heals well and everything goes well for him in life. And you know, this is this is nothing but business at the end of the day. Yeah, well that's good. So it's, it's great and I knew you'd show respect as you always have done all the way through your career. Mm -hmm. Now listen, I've got that's one right. last thing to speak to you about. Um you might have heard What's at up? the beginning of the uh of, of, the, of the interview that we have a partner now, which is Well Iced um, Therapy. These guys do the ice baths and they teach you breathing techniques and they're great for uh, for athletes like yourself. Um, okay. So I'm, I'm, if I come over again, I'm going to bring them with me. Is that okay? Absolutely. I would love to try. And we're coming, oh, yeah. we're coming to the gym and we'll get you in there and we'll do an interview with you in the ice bath. Let's do it. I'm down. The ice bath? Yeah. Oh, I hate ice baths, bro. But, but I'll do it though. I do they, it. What they do is they teach you to breathe, the breathing techniques to help your brain more than your body. You know, your body obviously recovers, and and so you know what the, the benefits of ice baths are. But they teach you about breathing techniques as well. So I'd love them to come with me and come into your underdog gym and uh, get you in there. I'll do it. Let's do it. That'll be cool. I think that'll be that'll be good content too. You're gonna see me freaking out. <laughs> well, listen. I know than that? Your, um. Thank you so much for coming on live from New York. Um, we wish you all the very, very best. And I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that uh, we get to see you on a big stage very soon again. 
God willing, man, I just I want to thank you once again for the opportunity for calling me again and you know getting me on the show. Um, let me give a shout out to my father, my team, Go Management, to you, Ringwalk Media, um, and just everybody, all of my friends, fans, supporters from the UK or just all around the world. Just guys, thank you guys. Um, just keep supporting me. Um, we're coming up from here. We're ten and zero now, and we're gonna keep it going. We are. Well, good luck. Good luck, Afasio. God bless, and uh, thank you for your time. Likewise, brother. Thank you. God bless you, bro.